Hello. By this point, you should have Linmod Talk installed on your computer, firmware downloaded into the drive, and the motor wizard complete and be logged into Linmod Talk. For basic control of the drive, we're going to need to manipulate the bits in the control word. And here's the control word right here. We could manipulate these bits from the control panel here by enabling manual override and forcing these bits off and on. But of course, to actually do this in a real application, we're going to need to control these bits from the outside world. Now, the ones that I'm going to be talking about today are going to be the switch on bit, the home bit, and the error acknowledge bit, which is right here. These are the basic ones that most people need to control. So, we're going to now configure the discrete I.O. To do that, we'll go to parameters and expand parameters. We'll expand motion control SW. We'll expand drive configuration. And we'll expand X4 I.O. definitions. Here we have a folder for each of the pins on the X4 connector. This is the X4 connector here, and we have that hooked up through this cable to this switch box. The switch box will simulate the outputs of a PLC so that we can control the Linmont drive from an external source. So the first one we'll do is the X4 connector pin 3. When we click on that, we'll have all these choices of functions that we can connect up to pin 3. So what we're going to do for the first one is we're going to connect that to the control word switch on bit. To do that, we double click on the dot. And up comes the dialog box warning us that the firmware on the drive is running and must be stopped before parameters can be written. Do you want to stop it now? Yes. So we stop the firmware and now pin 3 is connected to the function control word switch on. Switch on is the main enable bit for the drive. Secondly, we'll go to X4 pin 4, and we'll make that the home bit. So we're going to go down to control word home, double click on that, and now that's connected to the home bit. Then we'll go to X4 pin 5, and we'll connect that to the error acknowledge bit. Okay. So now we have these three bits connected, and we should be able to actually use them. So we're going to go to our control panel. We're going to start our firmware because we had to stop it. Yes, we want to reboot the drive. And now we'll be able to see our control word up here, and our actually our X4 I.O. panel down here in the I.O. panel section. So this allows us to confirm that our bits are actually being read. So my X4 pin 3 was configured as the switch on bit. So I can reach in here. I can switch that bit. And you'll notice that we get an indication here that that bit is true. And now up here, our switch on bit is true. And over here, it says operation enabled, motor not home. So now we can home the drive. The home bit is connected to X4 pin 4. I can reach in here and make that bit true. You can hear the drive home. Then I'll reach in and make that false. And we're ready to run. So basically, that's an example of connecting up inputs to the Linmod drive. And next, we'll talk about configuring outputs. So thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Burt. I hope this video was helpful.